demand for medical imaging is rising across the UK. Glan Fluid Hospital's successful bid for health technology funding enabled them to purchase a weight-bearing open MRI machine, resulting in additional capacity at reduced cost. The weight-bearing MR scanner allows patients to be examined under load-bearing conditions. We already know that we have picked up pathology on the same patient having been scanned supine and then scanned in an erect position. It has shown entrapment of nerves and which clearly has been the patient's problem. So this means that the orthopaedic surgeon or whoever is looking after that patient knows what the problem is and can therefore find a, a definitive treatment. The benefit to this scanner is it's more open for the patients, it's not as claustrophobic, it's also a lot quieter as well. Um, due to the quiet nature of it, it's nicer for um, paediatric patients to go in there. So they're happy to be scanned with the mother alongside them so they can chat away while they have the scan. We've recently had a five-year-old boy for a knee scan who managed to do his entire scan without any problems. He's just lay there with his mother alongside him chatting to him and he's got through it perfectly well. Sometimes with claustrophobia, when the patients come for the main scanner, you know straight away really that they're not going to be able to do it or that they're going to be very nervous about doing it. And this results in, it results in wasted spaces really on the scanner. It also results in a suboptimal examination for the patient because it can quite often, they can tolerate the scan, but they'll have been that nervous in there that they move during it. It's not really any benefit for them having the actual scan there. If we move those patients across onto the G-scan, the claustrophobic patients all like it a lot more because it's a lot more open and they, they tolerate it really, really well. So patients in a conventional scanner would, uh, if, especially if they're having their hands done, would have to have their hands alongside their body or in a superman position where they're lying quite uncomfortably but keeping their hands like this for a, a long period of time while they're being scanned. Whereas on this scanner, the hand itself, can just, they can just move the table so that the hand is in the center of the uh, magnet and so much more comfortable to hold that position and to be scanned like that. When a patient arrives, they come, they, we pop them onto the table when they're lying flat so we can get them in the right position. To do this, we position them onto the scanner and the actual scanner itself has a small computer screen onto the side of it that lets us visualize the actual position of the patient to the magnet. Once we've got the patient in the right place here, we manage to just press a couple of buttons on the side, which then tilts the magnet upright and then remains stationary with the patient in position for about six or seven minutes while we do a weight bearing scan. Once we're happy with the, that scan, we come back in, lie the patient back down again and then proceed with the supine examinations. We've seen patients' uh, spine imaging and knee imaging uh, shows, showing different areas of pathology in the weight bearing position but what we're interested in is in the future is what other joints look like in particular hip joints or possibly ankle joints so we're hoping to use this scanner in the future for research into those uh, areas. This particular scanner is going to give us opportunities to undertake research and we want to do that particularly with the musculoskeletal physiotherapists and also the orthopaedic surgeons because you know, that is where the demand for MSK imaging is particularly coming from. To use the G-Scanner, it's really, really good. It's, it's a very user-friendly system. It's all Windows-based, and it's really straightforward to use. Um, and anybody who can use a computer could actually use the platform on it because it is so user-friendly. Um, because it is so user-friendly, it's been really easy to train everybody to use it. Uh, all the other members of the MR and CT team who do actually use the scanner, they only tend to have one day's training alongside myself before they go on to actually just to just use the scanner. I think if you were choosing an MR scanner um, and this was the second one in your installation, what you would choose is this scanner because of the advantages of the range of patients you could cover by having this alongside uh, a conventional scanner. Um, it can fit into a small space, so again with the constraints within most hospitals, this scanner would therefore um, meet that, you'd be able to accommodate it uh, in a number of places in the hospital. It uses a lot less power, so you've got the advantages of the running costs uh, we're involved in that. And uh, the main advantage, I think, is patient acceptance, that you could have all of your patients, you'd be able to scan them either in a conventional one or in this, and so you're uh, making 
uh, your service available to all your patient cohort, no matter what size or shape they are. Based on the evidence that's come from continental Europe and some of the images that I've looked at locally, I think that uh, patients should have, should have more access to weight-bearing upright scanners such as the one we have here.